If you've got rid of your cable TV provider to help you save money and become a cord cutter, you may have tons of this coax cable running through your walls that is just going completely unused. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to convert this coax cable into some lightning fast ethernet cable to build out your home network. So stay tuned. Welcome back to another video, my fellow cord cutters. And even if you haven't cut the cord yet, this video should be able to help you out. Now, whether your house came pre-installed with coax cable throughout the whole house, or the cable company came out and shoved coax cable through all of your walls to get it through your house, I'm gonna show you how to modernize this coax cable and convert it into ethernet ports. Now, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Having a strong home network is pretty vital these days because let's face it, most of the devices we have have some kind of Wi-Fi shoved into it. If you have something a little bit older, you might have a wireless Wi-Fi router that looks like one of these. Or maybe you're like me and your Wi-Fi router is built into your cable modem. And one thing that I wanna point out, if your wireless is built into your cable modem, you can bypass that if you want to. I had a lot of people comment saying that they weren't able to invest in their own wireless router to boost their signal because their wireless router was built into the modem. You can bypass that. That is what I am currently doing right now. So if you're looking to upgrade your system, I recommend upgrading it with a mesh Wi-Fi network. Now this is a network that is going to have multiple devices that you're gonna scatter throughout the house. If we take a look here, I've got this guy from TP-Link. This is their Deco X20. It comes with three devices right here. So three different devices that you can put around your house. One is going to plug directly into your cable modem. The other two you're gonna put anywhere else in your house, which are going to all connect to each other wirelessly and create a nice network. The problem is, is that as these devices are trying to connect wirelessly, depending on how many different walls they're going through, they may not be getting the fastest signal possible. That is why these devices right here have something called a backhaul feature. And that is going to allow you to plug in an ethernet cable into the separate satellites to boost their signal. So I've got another one here. This is the newest one from TP-Link. This is their Deco XE75 Pro. This is definitely a great system here. I'm actually gonna be reviewing this one in a couple weeks. This video is not sponsored by TP-Link. I just have a few of their things right here because I wanted to talk about that backhaul. So being able to plug a network cable into the back of these satellite routers is going to help boost up that signal. Now, unfortunately, a lot of people don't have ethernet cables running to each room of their house but you do have coax, don't you? Now there are a bunch of different devices that you can use to convert your coax to ethernet. I'll leave a few of those links down below if you guys want to check those out. The one that I'm gonna be taking a look at in today's video is called Screen Beam. Now essentially this one right here has coax on one side and the other side it's got an ethernet port and a power port. Now this is a kit that comes with two devices. One of these you're going to put into the room that you want to convert this. The other one is going to be obviously on the other side of the coax cable. Now they do sell some of these right here that will allow you to still use your cable TV. So if you have not cut the cord and you do still have cable in your house, there are devices out there that do have, I believe it's two coax on the end, which will allow you to split it off and still use the TV if you want to. Now, the one I picked up here is a Mocha 2.5 adapter. Now, Mocha stands for Multimedia Over Coax Alliance. And that is essentially going to be the speed at which it is able to transfer. Now, 2.5 is fast. And since I am planning to use this as a backhaul for my mesh network, I wanted to get the fastest available option out there. Now let's go ahead and get this installed and test out the network and see what kind of improvements we're gonna get. Okay, I do have the two device starter kit and each device is gonna come with its own coax cable, power cable, ethernet cable, and splitter if you need it. Let's go ahead and get this installed. Okay, so I'm a bit embarrassed by the rat nest of things we have going on here, but hey, all for the sake of testing, right? So I've got my cable modem right here. It does have Wi-Fi built into it. I talked to AT&T, they said just don't use the Wi-Fi built in if you don't want to, plug something else in. So right here, we have got our Deco plugged in. That is going to be this guy right here. This is the Deco XE75 Pro. We've got our devices plugged in right here. So you can see the bottom one kind of right in the middle there. That is going to be plugged into my cable modem. Then I have got a black cable coming out right there. That is actually going up to this switch. So into the switch right here, coming back out of this one right here. And now it's being plugged in to our screen beam right here. So screen beam is plugged into power, plugged into ethernet. The other side, now I am lucky enough that I have all of my coax cables coming right into the closet here. This one's going to the den, so I have that one plugged in. 
Now let's jump into the den, plug the other side of this one in, get that one set up and test out the connection speed. All right, here we are on the other side in the den. The deco is now installed on the farthest end of the house away from its other side. So we're probably gonna get to the lowest signal. It's jumping between, I think like five or six walls. What I wanted to do is since this is still wireless, it just has power plugged into the back. So that's it. It's connecting to the other one. I wanted to see what our speed was. So we're gonna run a speed test here and see what kind of speed we're gonna get on this device. All right, so we're getting 252 down, we're getting 158 up. Now I pay for 1,000 up and 1,000 down. So these numbers aren't the best, but I kind of expected those numbers and they're still pretty good considering how far of a distance it's going and how many walls. But we're gonna try that backhaul feature with this device right here. So what we've done is we have plugged in our coax cable right here. We are going to plug it into the back for that backhaul feature and give it a second here to sync up and then we're gonna go ahead and test it out again, see if our speed increases. All right, we've given it a few minutes here. It is now stopped blinking red. We're back up online. You can see it is plugged into the back hall. Now let's test it out and see if we get an increase in our speed. That is huge right there. So we're getting over double now what we were getting before in our downloads. Wow, and a huge upgrade in our uploads. Now that is just from connecting off of our coax, setting up the backhaul, and being able to just get better speeds from that altogether. That is super impressive. Okay, so let's talk about another use case. As I'm building out my smart home, I get a lot of these hubs. We've got Philips Hue, we've got Lutron Hub, we've got a SmartThings Hub right here. All of these have to be plugged into a network, but I don't want these, you know, in my network closet. It's just too much stuff. I'd like to spread it around the house. So by installing one of these, I can now put all of these on one side of the house. We're gonna go all the way down here and we're just going to use our coax port right here. So what I've done is we have taken our screen beam device right here. I've plugged it into power. We've plugged a network cable into one end. Now I'm gonna take the coax we are going to screw it into the wall right here. All right, now that we have that connected and our ethernet plugged in, the ethernet is actually running all the way up to this switch right here. So this switch now is controlling a bunch of different devices plugged in, which are gonna be controlling all of my different hubs right here. That way I can put these in the best location to get the best coverage throughout my house instead of maybe having it on just one side. Well, there you have it. If you have coax running throughout your house, take advantage of it, convert it over to ethernet and really get some amazing ethernet speeds out of your old coax that you are not using anymore. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.